Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to explore the solutions to a problem which I was facing recently in which I was not able to open the R Studio IDE and it always showed me this error message saying that it was not able to locate the R version on my system which in my case was R 4.2.2 so no matter whatever I did I was always getting this red error message so in this video I'm going to explore the solutions to all those problems so now without any further ado let's start the video So in order to visualize the entire problem, let me download both the R as well as the R studio from the internet. So first of all, you will have to open this link here as you can see, and then click on download and install R to install the R on your system. So this is the latest version. After you have downloaded the R software for your operating system, you have to download the R studio so that you can actually run and execute your code. So now I'm going to install R 4.2.2 windows it is already installed now i'm going to install r studio so you have to double click on this file and then it will start the installation you have to select the installation folder as always and click on next so finally it is going to get installed in your system and finally you have to click on finish so as you can see both of them are installed in my system now i have to open r studio to see what actually the problem i was facing so even if you choose a specific version of R it was giving me this error could not locate an R installation on the system. So this was giving me this kind of splash screen in which you cannot access any options or even the IDE. So this is the black screen which I was talking about and also the error was not gone. Now let me open the command prompt and show you one solution of figuring out what actually the problem which you might be getting while opening R Studio. So you have to navigate to the folder where the R studio was actually installed in your system and then you have to write this command and press enter so it will show you what was the fault so in my case I was not able to detect it so again I was getting the same kind of error so although I was only getting the error which I mentioned before some of you might also be getting the splash screen as well as the blank gray or black screen errors as well you might be facing the caching problems which means that the R studio can't detect R version anywhere because it is not being registered in the caches or even the registry logs. So this might be one of your problems. So some of the solutions which you can try might be to reinstall both the R as well as the R studio from your system multiple times. You can also disable any security software like Windows Defender or any other present in your system which might be preventing the installation of R studio or even preventing R studio from accessing the R version by interfering in some administrative issues. You can also try opening RStudio while pressing control on your keyboard. You can run the rstudio.exe run diagnostics command as I showed you in the command prompt. If RStudio is not opening but if your R is working then you can always go for any other ID or text editor like VS Code or Sublime Text. If you wish to debug the problem all by yourself then you can always go to the registry files. For that you will have to follow this instruction and you can always track down the instances in which the RStudio is failing to find the specified our installation by going to this location. You can also follow these steps if you want to debug the problems which you might be facing or the problems which your R Studio might be facing while trying to locate R. So now after trying all the possible steps even if you are not able to open R Studio on your system so you have to download the old versions of R as well as R Studio because I was not able to find any suitable solutions to my problem i installed the old version of r which was r 4.1.0 by going to this link all the relevant links you will get in the description you can check them out you can also visit this link to download the older version of r studio so the version which you are going to install is this one 1 1.4.1717 so this is the version compatible with the r so now i have to uninstall the previous version of r which was installed on my system to be able to download the newer version of r so for that you have to go to the control panel and uninstall the previous version of r as well as r studio so now as you can see it is uninstalling the r for windows it is going to get removed from my computer and finally it is uninstalled and the same thing i have to do for r studio as well i have to uninstall the r studio from my system so as you can see it is uninstalling and finally it is uninstalled from my system you have to close the window now you have to install both the R as well as the R studio into your system as I told you 
So first I'm going to install R 4.1.0 for Windows. As you can see the installation process has started. You have to select all those agreements and then click on next and it is finally getting installed on my system. The R for Windows 4.1.0. So it's installed. Click on finish. Now I'm going to install R Studio. So R Studio the version is 1.4.1717. You have to install this R Studio ID on your system. So as you can see the installation process started. You can select the folder where it is going to get installed. And after completing you have to click on finish. So now let me open R Studio and see whether I can run it or not. Let me wait for a bit. So finally after doing all this I am able to open R Studio on my system and I can successfully run my R code for doing all my works. So this is how you can install R as well as R Studio if you are not able to open the R Studio IDE. If you have installed the updated version then you can do all these steps and finally even if you are not able to get the desired outcome by following all the previous steps you can install the old version of R as well as R Studio to get started. So this was all from this video guys I hope you enjoyed as well as I hope that you found the possible solution to your problem. So thank you guys for watching my video if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel until I meet you next time in the new video keep exploring.